let's talk now about the deployment of React.js and I want to go straight to the point. There are several possibilities to deploy your web application, whether it's React, whether it's Vue.js, Vue whatever. The most common way to deploy a website is to go on a provider here, such as DigitalOcean, where you can just push your file to a server via FTP, and then you get several other um, tools that you can help, such as the storage, the virtual machines, the managed database, if you want to connect your database, etc., etc. So if you get a look at this one, DigitalOcean, you have to create an account, pay monthly, and just after that, you have your space, you get an access, via a shell command and then you push your React application. However, you would have to do some configuration with Node.js and stuff. It can be painful. That's one of the first possibility. A second possibility would be to do exactly the same on uh, actually Amazon Web Services, where you could have, for instance, a server and you would, would like to push actually your website online and to host it somewhere, okay, to uh, deploy everything. A lot of startups are using AWS. It's probably a level of complexity for most of the developers online that is higher, but it's really efficient. In terms of cost, we can talk about that in another video, another time. The other possibility is to go on Google Cloud and do exactly the same as AWS, but under Google, where we can use also several other tools there. Another possibility is to use those platforms that are made to deploy directly your JavaScript or web application in general. In the list, we've got Netlify. Netlify is one of the most used platform here to deploy your application. You basically link a Git repository and it's going to catch all your code and it's going to type the command npm run build and do all the stuff that you want to do directly every time you push to the repository. So it's deeply linked to GitHub. It means that you would want to have a GitHub repository ready and every time you push on this repository, it's going to fetch the data and the data everything and do his job and deploy your website on a domain name. All right. One platform that is more famous than Netlify, it's Vercel. And Vercel, remember, we already saw it when we created the previous Next.js application. With Vercel, you can basically build, scale and secure faster personalized web application. Okay, so what I advise you to do is to create a Vercel account and we are going to deploy this React application together and you're going to see it's really, really easy. It's really beginner friendly. It's going to be instant and we will be also available to choose actually our domain name under Vercel.app. Okay, once it's done, you are supposed to arrive on a dashboard like this. Not really like this. <laughs> it should not be black. Me, I'm hiding all my projects because under Vercel, I probably have 50 websites running. Okay? So those websites are running 24 7. Okay? You don't need to do anything. It's running. What I'm going to do is to click on Add New and I'm going to add a new project. And once it's done, you are supposed to arrive on this screen and this is where it's the most interesting. Here we can see that I linked my GitHub account and we can see that I got my project that I pushed React from zero to hero 20 minutes again, okay? And we can also see that I got clones template and I got templates for Next.js, SvelteKit, Vite, Nuxt. And if I click on browse all templates, of course, I'm gonna have tons of other templates that are made to be deployed. So. I did the opposite. I created a project on my side, pushed it to GitHub, and finally here, I can basically grab this project, import it, and deploy it directly online. So here we can see that I can click on import. I'm going to click on import, and suddenly we can see that I can uh, choose some stuff. He recognized that I'm using Vite. 
I can see that the root directory is here. I got React from 0 to Evo. And if I want to put some more operation, I can click here, which is not really interesting, except the environment variable that you would like to use. If I click on deploy immediately, and it seems like magic, right? It's crazy. It's going to launch the processing of building. So if I open it here, remember, this is exactly what's happening with the uh, build process that we had locally. So here we can see that Vite did the work and immediately, instantly, we can see that my website has been deployed, which is absolutely crazy, guys. So if I click on it here, we can see that I got React from 0 to 0 Gamma. He created his own uh, URL and we can see that we've got the count here, exactly the app that I have uh, here running locally. This is absolutely crazy. I succeed to deploy this React application really fast. This is my biggest advice of this video and this course. If you want to deploy an application here with React, go on Vercel. This is the fastest way for you. Okay, here it's free, it's instant. I deployed immediately my app and my app is now available for the whole world. Of course, if your app is going to be really successful, you will have to pay because it's not going to be free forever. If I click on continue to dashboard, I can see that I got several other options. I got here the repository. If I click on the repository, look at that. I arrive here. We can see that it has been linked automatically. Okay, I, I have the full repository. And every time I'm going to push, it's going to redeploy again. And there will be here the list of all the time I pushed my React project. I got the parts with analytics, if I would like to do some analytics. I got speed insights that help me to calculate the speed of my websites. I got the logs because of course it's a server, it's running, so I need to check what are the logs. I have a firewall if I would like to get use a firewall. I got the storage part. And I got here the uh, settings if I would like to put some more settings, okay? So this is it. Uh, now we deployed our app, we can start to work on it. And every time we would like to do some changes, we can push it. And what I advise you to do is to come back really often to Vercel to see if there is no error in the building of your app. So you are able to debug and redeploy.